young girl. Now, National Assembly Speaker Justin Muturi yesterday dismissed as premature debate on whether implementation of the Building Bridges Initiative report should happen through Parliament, insisting the report is yet to be drafted into a bill to be admitted in the House for debate. But just what is this process of, of converting the BBI report into a bill and what likely political gains stand along the way? Our political affairs reporter, Murimi Mwangi, explains. The dust may be yet to settle from the Wednesday launch of the Building Bridges Initiative report. But in a surprise turn of events, National Assembly Speaker Justin Muturi could as well have just extinguished debate on the need for urgency of parliament to take over implementation of this document. We cannot receive, uh, receive it or even claim to receive it because it is not ours. But what are the other likely shortcuts to sneak the BBI report to Parliament? Uh, thank you, Honorable Speaker. While this debate has largely been on the need for the National Assembly to spearhead constitution of a parliamentary select committee to redraft the BBI report into a bill and to thereafter spearhead public participation on the same, Article 125 subsection 2b of the Constitution empowers Parliament through any of its relevant departmental committees to compel for production of any document to the House. In the context of the BBI report, analysts argue that any member can put a request directly to the office of the president for tabling of the raw BBI report or its equivalent draft bill, or to the attorney general who by law is the president's chief legal advisor and whose state law office drafts government-sponsored bills. The third approach is for a committee to sit and make a decision that they will want to be seized over that particular report and interrogate. The third is for the government now through the Attorney General or the Minister to have the same report uh, uh, sent to the House. There was a failure on the part of the, the um, task force because on handing over its report it became functors official. It has no entry route into Parliament. It has no entry route to the popular initiative in any form uh, because one, they have not introduced a bill. My committee which is Justice and Legal Affairs Committee to deal with it, or we have the COIC, that is a committee on implementation of the Constitution, or we can combine all these, or we have a committee of experts. This is the discussion now which should, which should be following. As presently drafted, the BBI recommendations analysts argue do not necessitate a popular vote a state of affairs that has excited those opposed to any referendum talk. But what would be the timelines to actualize this report through a parliamentary initiative anyway? Parliament breaks for recess on Thursday until January next year. Yet Article 256, subsection 1C of the Constitution on Amendment by Parliamentary Initiative dictates that any such bill shall not be called for second reading, which is when debate happens, within 90 days from the date of introduction in either house. This therefore means that the earliest any BBI draft bill can be debated is late March next year. If at all, it is tabled in January when Parliament resumes. Such a bill can only pass by a vote of 233 of the 349 members of the National Assembly before its transmission to the Senate where pursuant to the 90 days procedure can only be debated earliest late June and can only pass with the okay from 24 county delegations. It's important to correct the narratives that are being bodied around uh, both in a parliamentary initiative and in a popular initiative, Parliament is going to play a role. But in the case of parliamentary initiative, it plays a role in advance. In the case of a popular initiative, Parliament plays a role at the tail end. A determination has to be made by the Speaker and, and uh, the legal team which of these again requires a referendum and which of these requires just a parliamentary uh, 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 to that majority. So once this is done, I don't see the hula blue. This is easy. The taxpayers have already spent a lot of money. The expectations are high. As it is now, even if there are those, propos those proposals in the report, they have not been reduced into anything that one can talk about legislation.
But with the raging high octane Kenyatta succession politics, Parliament, the political engine for state house contenders, remains on the spotlight. 